episode, man. What's up, CookSpurs.com? Spurs fans, as you know, the season almost around the corner. Many months ahead to go, but it is summer league action going on. But first, we want to talk about the two newest additions to the San Antonio Spurs. Number 25, if I'm correct. Antonio, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it a dice. And also Marcus Hazlip from uh, Europe, overseas player. Um, just talking about these new guys coming in, uh, Nathan, with the addition of Antonio McDice. What does he bring to the Spurs at this particular point, coming in into the summer league, coming into the season? Well, McDice is a guy that can get you a double double any night because I saw it on the NBA.com and he last year basically had a double double average so he's another guy that could help good and dunk and blur a young guy and blur help him out uh, talk to him uh, if he's going through a difficult time just a veteran already that could talk to the young guys and and he's another key bench player and also the San Antonio Spurs also signed another center by the name of Marcus Hazelip. Now, this guy comes from, as I said, Europe. He played in uh, overseas, but now the Spurs signed him. Um, he's coming. He's already been signed. And with this guy, by looking video, he can hit threes from the outside. He gives, he spreads the floor. He can post up, he can dunk, score in the paint, no big deal for Marcus Hayslip with the Antonio McDice and Marcus Hayslip coming to the Spurs. You see now that Tim Duncan will have enough help to get back to the NBA final. And now that Rashid Wallace signs with the Celtics, the Spurs did not wait any longer until they inked Marcus Hayslip just hours after Rashid joined the Seas. So Nathan What's your take on Marcus Hazlip coming into the Spurs? Well, he could also hit three pointers too, and so he's a guy that could. He's a guy that could use the whole floor because he could uh, be there in the paint and then outside as well. So, so uh, he got worried about him being all over the court. Yep, and also with uh, we've talked about. The other players that are coming into the Spurs in our other videos, talking about Jack McClinton and DeWan Blair, but with all these new guys being signed to the roster, this team has added more depth to this team, and now you're going to see a bigger, badder Spurs team. And with a healthy Manu Ginobili, there is no doubt in my mind, in this world that we live in, that the San Antonio Spurs will and can, in fact, win the 2010 NBA Finals. Going into that, with the Finals, you know, possibly could be many matchups, um, the Spurs could be playing the Boston Celtics. I mean, it's just that simple. If the Celtics can get back to the Finals this year, I don't think they'll have a problem beating Cleveland, the Detroits, the uh, Orlando Magics, all those teams. Um, Shaq being added to the Cleveland roster, obviously, but it's not much of a big deal other than Shaq is the big pirate in Cleveland. But um, with most trades, the Spurs had the best of the signings and the trades throughout this season, off the summer. They have been the team with the best picks. And also Ron Artest signing with the Los Angeles Lakers. But really, they did that after they saw the Spurs sign Richard Jefferson. So they kind of reacted towards them. Um, don't count out anybody in the Western Conference still, but be looking out for the Spurs um, in the West this year. They're going to give everyone a hard team time, and it will only be a matter of time until the Spurs reclaim their crown. Nathan, anything you would like to add? Uh, changing subjects from, uh, from the Spurs to the Cavaliers and LeBron James getting, uh, I'm sure y'all know already, getting dunked on. By a college kid, just embarrassing. Not King James, more like Frog James. Not a prince, not a king, not even a princess. It's just a frog that has yet 
to kiss a Larry O'Brien trophy. Just LeBron James has just outdone himself by looking like a complete clown. And he doesn't want to show the the uh, his videos too. I mean, it's only such a little prong to let everybody know, hey, that I got dunked on and who cares. I mean, when Tim Duncan got dunked on by LeBron James, did Tim Duncan hide the footage? Did he run to the closest cameraman? No, he did not. They took it, and that's the way the game goes. Everyone gets blocked. Everyone gets dunked on. That's just the way of the game. But for LeBron James to not want to post a video and not want to be more embarrassed, it's just even more embarrassing to see him act in that way. That kid that dunked on LeBron James will be dunking on more people as soon as he gets back to his college team. Look out for this guy. I believe his name is Jordan Crawford or something like that. Whatever his name is, I think that's his name. But this guy will probably end up tearing up some rims in college. So if you're playing against this guy, you better get out from the rim because he's dunked on LeBron and the next person, it could be up to you. So Spurs fans, um, it's time to get ready for the summer league. It's almost here. July 13th that the Spurs play the New Orleans Hornets at the Caucus Pavilion. And we'll have all those results from that one game as soon as they happen. Also, the Spurs did sign, we forgot to mention, Buddy Kirsten. Uh, everyone knows probably who he is. He played with the Austin Toros last year. And he brings some little bit of experience, sort of. But they can use all the help they can, can use. Um, so for clubspurs.com and Spurs fans everywhere, I'm Tom the Spurs dude, this is Nathan, 